Up next, celebrity interviews that go nowhere fast. So, Darren Aronofsky, mm-hmm. Requiem for a Dream, The Whale, well, whatever. That's right. Let me ask you, don't you think your name sounds like a nursery rhyme or something? Excuse me? Darren Aronofsky, no? Hey, that reminds me. Last night, I had about the closest I've ever had to a totally normal dream. What do you mean normal? Like boring? Yeah, you know, like real life boring. Usually in a dream, there's weirdness at every turn, you know? Like you fall asleep and you're instantly inside the mouth of a tiger or trapped near the inner circle of thought. I don't understand. Exactly, and you shouldn't, because that's bananas. But this dream started with just me in my bed. A weird bed? No, no, normal. Usually there's at least a swarm of bees or something fucked up like that. Mm, you eat a lot of spicy foods, don't you? I do, I do. The bee swarms are on me. I'm, I'm not passing the bee swarms off on anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You own your bees. Yeah, I own my bees. They're my truth. Well, you're living your truth. That's right. I'm living my truth. I'm living my truth. So anyway, I get up, I get dressed, have breakfast. A weird breakfast? Totally normal. I didn't pour a bowl of cereal and then eat the box or something crazy like that. Pancakes, I think I had. Oh, and I was out of orange juice. I mean, can you believe such a thing in a dream? Oh, God, it's so boring. Well, it was normal is what I'm getting at. To a fucking fault. Went out, put gas in the car. Mm, Out of gas, too, huh? The dream you must have had carpal duty or something the week prior. Yeah, something totally lame like that, I'm sure. I mean, that's what it felt like, at least. Went to the bank, deposited a check. Mm -hmm. For a weird amount? No, a boring amount. $45. Oh, my God, what an insignificant figure. I mean, the transfer of $45 does nothing for either party. Into checking? Mm Mm-hmm. No cash back? Mm-mm. None. Mm. So the dream you had no plans but to continue being boring. Exactly. And that was it. I came home. But then before I woke up, I walked by a mirror and I looked at myself. Uh-oh. You know when you go to a shoe store and they have all those weird flat things all over the floor with the little slidey ruler thing on it that they use to measure your foot? Mm, yeah, a Brannock device. Huh. I worked at a shoe store in high school. And for many years after high school, I've led a terrible life. Please continue. Anyway, yeah, so I looked in the mirror and my head was one of those things. Ah, so it turns out everything was weird after all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So then what'd you do? Nothing, really. I just stood there looking at myself, sliding the little ruler thing up and down on my head. Then I woke up. Hmm. I wonder what it means. Huh. I don't know. I bet a dream analyst would tell you to avoid Crocs. Why? Because everyone should be telling everyone to avoid Crocs. I was trapped near the inner circle of thought. I don't understand.